Question 4 of this exercise says that joining pie chart gives the marks scored in an examination by a student in Hindi, English, Mathematics, Social Science and Science. If the total marks obtained by the student were 540, answer the following questions. In the first part it says, in which subject did the student score 105 marks? So let's find the marks they scored in all the subjects and the central angle is given and the total marks is also given that is 540. So let's start with mathematics and we know the formula to find the central angle that is value of the observation divided by total value into 360 degree. So the central angle of mathematics is given that is 90 degree and let us consider the value of the observation the marks obtained in maths is x divided by the total marks which is 540 and multiplied by 360 degree so x will basically be equal to 90 degree divided by 360 degree and multiplied by 540 and on solving this we will get the marks obtained in maths that is 135 now using the same approach we will find the marks obtained in other subjects as well now let's have a look into english so we know that the central angle is 55 degree the marks obtained in english let us consider that as x divided by the total marks which is 540 and multiplied by 360 degree so from here we will get the marks obtained in english that is 55 degree divided by 360 degree multiplied by 540 and on solving this we will get the marks obtained in english that is 82.5 now let's move on to hindi the central angle that is given is 70 degree that equals to x divided by 540 multiplied by 360 and from there we will get the value of x the marks obtained in hindi that is 105 marks now let's move on to science the central angle is 80 degree so it will be 80 that equals to the marks obtained in science divided by the total marks which is 540 multiplied by 360 degree so on solving this we will get the value of x the marks obtained in science that is 120 marks now let's move on to social science the central angle is 65 degrees, so it will be 65 degree that equals to x marks obtained in social science divided by the total marks which is 540 multiplied by 360 degree. So from here we will get the marks obtained in social science that is 97.5. So we have got the marks of all the subject now we can do the first part easily in which subject did this student score 105 marks so as we can see that in Hindi the student score 105 marks now let's move on to the second part of this question it says how many more marks were obtained by the student in mathematics than in Hindi so in mathematics as we can see that the students obtained 135 marks and in Hindi they have obtained 100 and 5 marks so to find how many more marks they obtain in mathematics we will do 135 minus 105 which is same as 30 so they got 30 more marks in mathematics than in Hindi now let's have a look into the third part it is given examine whether the sum of the marks obtained in social science and mathematics is more than that in science and Hindi just study the central angles so let's have a look into the central angle of social science and mathematics so if we look into the central angles of social science and mathematics it is 90 degree and 65 degree which is same as 155 degree now let's have a look into the central angle of science and Hindi so that is 80 degree and that is 70 degree which is 150 degrees so as we can see that the central angle of the sum of social science and mathematics is more than that of science and Hindi. So the sum of the marks that is obtained in social science and mathematics is more than that of science and Hindi.
To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.